screen protector, a shockproof phone case, and take your device in for regular cleanings. If you need high-end video for work or you just like having the latest hardware, go ahead and upgrade. Otherwise, do what Kiera's doing. I want to keep the old one. Fix it. And that way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's 647. I have to laugh when I hear that report. Up to nine months ago, I was using an iPhone 7. It worked great. I could get on Facebook. I could make a phone call. I could check and send a text message, check email, and that's all I needed to do because you're talking to a child of the age when we didn't have any of that stuff. Remember the old rotary phones? You would you'd dial the number and it did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, and you dial the number. And then if you messed up halfway through, you'd have to start all over again. It's all good. I've updated, I think I've got a 12 or 13 right now. But anyways, it's all good. Hey, let's take a look at what's going on with live Doppler radar. We do have a few showers out there, mainly east of US 131. There's a cluster of some thunderstorms forming, which I'll monitor here over the next few hours. It is possible some of these make it across the lake and we see a few more showers. The chances of showers will be out there through the morning hours. I think a lot of areas may be missed, but the chance of showers will be there as a warm front lifts on through the area. It's 59 degrees right now, 60 in Fremont. Janice Allen just walked up to me and said, boy, it's pretty warm out there. And she's correct. It's about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than it was yesterday at this time. So yes, you can feel the difference when you head outside this morning. We're in the mid to upper 50s there across portions of Kent County. 60 degrees right now in Hudsonville, 62 in Kalamazoo, 61 in Battle Creek and our far southern counties, upper 50s to around the 60 degree mark as well. So let's take a look at what's going on with our forecast today. Lots of clouds around here this morning, maybe a few scattered showers. Can't even rule out a rumble of thunder as we get into the afternoon afternoon. Some sunshine breaks through with temperatures making up to the mid to upper 70s. A little of a south to southwest wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Here's the future track map and this big uh, red line is the warm front that's going to lift on through the area. Why is it a warm front? Because you see on the other side of that front there's warmer temperatures, maybe a little bit more humidity as well because there'll be a little more moisture in the air. So we'll feel temperatures get into the mid to upper 70s today and then once that lifts on through it sweeps most of the precipitation chances out of here as we get into the late morning and the afternoon hours as well. As we get into Thursday, I think we'll see a mixture of some clouds and sunshine, dry conditions. Thursday then into Friday, not much going on. There'll be some showers and storms to our west as we go later on Thursday and into Friday, but I think those stay off to the west, and that's on Friday. There's not much going on except just warmer temperatures. So 77 degrees today with a chance of a morning shower or thunderstorm in there. 81 tomorrow, 81 on Friday. Uh, as we get into Saturday, that's the first day of fall, still hanging on to 80 degrees. And then we're in the 70s there for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday with a chance of a shower there on Tuesday. Beyond the scope of this seven-day forecast, look at this. More than the eastern half of the nation, all the way from the northern, central, and southern plains, all the way to the east coast, at least a 50 to 60 percent chance of above normal temperatures for the last few days of September 27th into the first few days of October. That's statistically pretty significant. That means that our temperatures will probably stay well into the 70s as we go into the first week of October. So no real big threat for anything too cold coming up over the next couple of weeks. That's weather. We check traffic now at 650.